four league titles, four league cups, FA Cup winner as well, a couple of community shields. This, this season's community shield with a calf injury. Missed the opening match of the season against Forrest as well, but he's been slowly reintroduced with a couple of substitute appearances. And he makes his first start of the season today, Alexander Zinchenko. Yeah, that goes down, but it's a really good piece of distribution there from the goalkeeper. He picks out Anthony, who has been fouled. He has been called into the latest Cameroon international squad, but it's unlikely he'll link up with his national team. Of course, he famously walked out of the camp at the World Cup after a fallout with the management. And it's believed he won't link back up with the Cameroon squad, despite being called up to their international ranks earlier on this week. And he's in possession again here, the United goalkeeper. That's a good ball into the midfield where it's gathered by Bruno Fernandes. Here's it off to Wamba Saka. Bit of a loose touch from Anthony, but he did well to just shield that one from Declan Rice, who was on his case there. Manchester United have cheaply turned over the ball, and Rice intercepts it right on the halfway line for Arsenal. Here's Saliba. It's a nice ball into Zinchenko, maybe just not enough pace on it, and a United player gets a toe on it, and Manchester United come away with possession. They're looking to launch a counter attack now as the ball's fed out wide against it. Wamba Saka. Anthony gets a 1 2 off Juan Bissaka, who has it again here for Manchester United. This is Lindelof now. Martinez. He's got his foot on the ball, assessing his options. Besides, the safest thing to do is go back to Lindelof here. Gets it out to Juan Bissaka once again. United struggling to make any inroads here at the moment. Seven defeats and one draw in Manchester United's last eight away games against the top nine in the league. They have struggled on the road against the top sides in the league in recent times. And so far, no real signs of major concern for Manchester United. There was that brief scare when Martinelli broke into the penalty area off a corner and got a shot away. But so far, neither team really establishing a real pattern of play. No real rhythm to the game as yet inside the opening ten minutes. Hopefully it'll be as entertaining as the game towards the end of last season here when Arsenal came out on top by three goals to two. You might remember that late Eddie and Ketty a winner. That was someday at the Emirates and the Arsenal fans are hoping for a similar viewing today. It's just taken a little while to come to the boil though. This big blockbuster clash in the Premier League this afternoon. Arsenal trying to inject some life into it now by playing a ball in towards Odegaard but it's been turned over by Manchester United but that's a sloppy pass from Bruno Fernandes he had Martial in front of him but he's overhit the ball to the Frenchman and it's easily gathered by Ben White who finds Saliba Saliba nice and composed on the ball he finds Declan Rice Rice is forced back into his own penalty area but he manages to find a pass out to Zinchenko Zinchenko finds Odegaard Arsenal starting to move through the gears now it's out to Saka this is promising for Arsenal Justin Kenny inside for support at the moment so Saka checks back he finds Odegaard, and that's a brilliant bit of tracking back, a good tackle from Bruno Fernandes, who wins it for Manchester United. And that looks like a foul on Martial. And the referee just held off on the whistle there, Anthony Taylor, but he does eventually bring it back for that shove on the Frenchman. Some Hagen conversation with Christian Eriksen. It looks like he's asking Eriksen to try and get the midfield playing the ball forward with a little bit more pace and a bit quicker so again steps forward to try and start an attack from the back Anthony's done extremely well to hold on to that ball he had two Arsenal players around him but the Brazilian comes away with it There's Bruno Fernandes now the Manchester United captain looking for options Again, Arsenal managed to force Manchester United back into their own half. They've done that really well so far in the opening 10 minutes. Arsenal haven't allowed Manchester United easy access into the Arsenal half. Casemiro up to Lindelof. Manchester United have made 78 passes inside the first 10 minutes of this game, but no passes inside the final third. So that backs up exactly what I've just been saying. That Arsenal have uh, done really well to push United back time after time as United try to come forward now it's Arsenal with an attack of their own here's Martinelli 
There's a couple of red shirts in support here. Can Martinelli find one of them? Martinelli floats it into the penalty area towards Odegaard. Loose ball breaks inside. There's a big chance for Arsenal. A swing and a miss from Kai Havertz. He really should have scored. Havertz has his head in his hands. He can't believe he's missed that opportunity. It was Martinelli's cross that caused all the chaos. Defensive header from Dallow. It looked like it came off a United player and it almost fell to Kai Havertz. It comes off Martial and Havertz, he takes a touch and then he miscues it all together. It almost turned into a good pass for Eddie and Ketia, but Kai Havertz from there should have at least been hitting the target. That's a huge let off for Manchester United. But again, it was the bright play of Martinelli down the flanks that caused all the trouble there for Manchester United. Martinelli off to a flyer here in this one. And Arsenal do have a corner, Martinelli to go across and take. Martinelli plays it in, but that's a poor ball there. It's not beating the first man. That first line of defence was Bruno Fernandes, who just swings it out of play for a throw in. Here's Zinchenko now for Arsenal. Saliba. To Ben White. Up to Saka. Saka thought about taking Dallow on there, but decides to give the ball back to White. And Rice out to Saka, White with an overlapping run that allows Saka to check inside and find Odegaard. Odegaard to White. Here's Declan Rice now. Back to White. Just took a moment for the ball to settle at his feet. Saliba to White. Down the line to Saka who checks it back to Odegaard. Odegaard trying to pick out Martinelli on the far side, but it's intercepted. White Wamba Saka eventually does fall though to Martinelli, he's out towards the corner flag here, he's got wan and Anthony to beat, he's played it off wan for another corner to the Arsenal 15 minutes on the clock, this is their third corner of the match already quality of the cross needs to be better this time for Martinelli he failed to beat Bruno Fernandes at the front post last time around Ashford, Casemiro, Fernandes all in that front post area here, inside the 6 yard box a lot of the Arsenal players to the back post this time. Is that where the cross will go? It looks like it will. Oh, Nana got a good pair of gloves on it. It'll break to Saka. Good touch inside the penalty area. His shot had no power on it. It was blocked down by Eriksen. Eriksen goes chasing a ball from a Manchester United team to try and launch a counter-attack, but it's easily intercepted by Zinchenko. Zinchenko in possession now again for Arsenal. Declan Rice. He's played more games against Manchester United than any other team in his club career so far. This is his 16th, uh, 15th match today against Manchester United. Nine defeats and just the three victories for Declan Rice. He'll be hoping now that he's joined Arsenal that that win ratio against Manchester United is going to improve. Starting with this game here today. Switch of play now, Arsenal trying to switch it from right to left, but Wambasaka he reads the danger very easily, he heads it back to Onana. We've seen as much of the ball as anyone from Manchester United in the opening quarter of this game. Onana to Eriksen, so just dropping on to the edge of the penalty area to receive. This is Wambasaka now. Arsenal again applying a high press. Onana. Casemiro who took a chance there but he gets the ball out to wan this time dinks it forward up towards Anthony Anthony's headers up in the air Martial can't get control of it and now Arsenal have it through Kai Havertz he must surely still be thinking about that big opportunity that has passed him by fourth consecutive start in the league for Kai Havertz since his move from Chelsea a lot of questions about where his best position is I don't think he's an out and out striker for sure. He didn't show a, sh a striker's instinct when that chance fell his way a few moments ago, but certainly a very, very talented player and a great addition to this Arsenal team. We've spent big in the transfer window to try and improve on last season's second place in the league. Over 200 million spent on the likes of Havertz and Rice. The unfortunate Timber, who's going to miss most of this season through injury after his move. Odegaard with a shot off the left. That's a good block combination of Eriksen and. Martinez getting out to that one. But if it took a while for these teams to find their foot, and Arsenal definitely 
are into the flow of this game now as Martinelli plays across towards Saka at the back post great defensive header from Dallow it's going to be another corner for Arsenal but it is the Gunners now starting to get on top in this one as we head towards the 20 minute mark still scoreless you're listening to live commentary of Arsenal against Manchester United here on Flash Score if you have just joined us you join us as Arsenal get ready to take yet another corner it's their first corner from this side so Saka's going to take this one it's been Martinelli taking them over on the opposite flank Saka getting ready. We're just short, sorting out a little bit of pushing and shoving going on inside. So Saka's had a good while to stand over this one. He does now swing it in. It's a great ball from Saka. It was a great chance for Declan Rice. Rice got up highest, but his header goes over the bar. And for the second time in the opening 20 minutes, we see an Arsenal player inside the Manchester United box with his hands on his head because that is a big opportunity there for Declan Rice he was under a slight bit of pressure but he probably should have hit the target there Declan Rice his header flies over the bar it's going to be Lindelof to take this goal kick he'll play it to Onana something we can probably get used to seeing for Manchester United this season Onana well, plays it out to Martinez who plays it right across his own penalty area to Lindelof how the game has changed once upon a time you been told never to play the ball across your own penalty area but that is exactly Manchester United do for the restart here Martinez drives the ball forward but that's going to run straight through to Aaron Ramsdale Eric Ten Hag is shaking his head and it is easy to see why that was a rash ball forward there from the Argentinian World Cup winner Martinez five shots on goal so far in this game from Arsenal five shots anyway not had any on target as of yet but Manchester United yet to register any sort of effort on Aaron Ramsdale's goal it is Arsenal that have started this game by far the better As Martinelli comes inside now to receive him he spreads the ball out towards Saka. That's brilliant play from Martinelli. Saka's touch is loose. Very rare you say that. And Saka, has he trotted on the foot? Yes, he has. I thought the referee was going to let it go for a minute. Saka has just trotted on the foot of Dallow there. Dallow went down and Saka, he continued on in possession. It just took Anthony Taylor a moment or two to blow his whistle. Saka thought he was in on goal. But the play is brought back for a foul on the Portuguese fullback. No doubt about it, looking at the replay. Saka has caught Dallow there. Saka's loose touch presenting it to Dallow, and then Dallow's loose touch inviting that tackle from Saka. Manchester United take the free, quick, free kick quickly. Back again with Onana. Lindelof. To Wanda Saka. Saka's path to Lindelof is overhit and that is a crunching tackle from Declan Rice that's exactly why they brought the English international to the Emirates for intensity like that United have the ball back now through Anthony Anthony forward to Martial Martial goes it off to Casemiro it's with Fernandez now Fernandez sprays it out wide to Rashford Rashford tries to take on Saka and ball breaks back here now to Martinez, Saka's gone down here is the referee going to stop play yes he is, there might have been some contact there, that's both uh, Rashford and Saka went into a, into a foot race sure what happened there but Saka does need some sort of treatment it would seem there's six players just coming over taking this chance to get some fluids on board Mikara he's not happy about something he's in discussion with the fourth official but after all of that the game is back underway now 
More harm done. Casemiro brings the ball forward to Wamba Saku, taking up an advanced position there for Manchester United. But United have given the ball away, and if Arsenal can find their way through here, then Wamba Saka would have been out of position. But Manchester United do well to funnel Arsenal back into their own half, where White has it now. White with the ball over the top towards Saka, but there's far too much on that there from the Englishman. And that runs out of play for a Manchester United goal kick. see one of the United centre-halves passing the ball to the United goalkeepers Martinez that gives it to Onana and he plays the ball out to Lindelof and uh, that's going to have to be retaken because I think Saka was inside the Manchester United penalty area so it's Eddie and Ketty and of course that isn't allowed and I think yeah, Anthony Taylor had already warned Arsenal about that a little bit earlier on as well so he's uh, just taking that moment to again remind the Arsenal players they have to be outside of the penalty area for the restart. The restart is now taken and Eriksen gives the ball to Lindelof. There's no doubt about it between the goalkeeper and the centre-halves. They have been the players that had the most touches here for Manchester United. That tells you where they're playing the vast majority of their football in this first half. Eriksen with the ball out to Martial. Martial tries to turn Havertz but Havertz again does really well to force Martial back and he gives the ball here to Lindelof who goes back to the goalkeeper it's all the way back at the original starting point now United really struggling to find a way through this Arsenal team and it goes more direct this time but that is intercepted but the loose ball breaks the way of wan Saka who gives it to Lindelof Lindelof kicks his head up and tries to play one forward that was a good idea there was a run there from Dallo, he tried to split the two centre halves, but it was headed away by the Arsenal defence. Saliba with the header away, and there was a foul then after that. Uh, Gabriel and Anthony. Anthony then kicked the ball away, and I think some of the Arsenal players feeling he should have been cautioned for that. But the referee happy enough to let that one slide. Here's Ramsdale, I haven't mentioned him half as much as we've mentioned his counterpart down the other end. And it's another touch now, the English goalkeeper puts his boot through the ball, up towards the halfway line this ball goes, where Eddie Nketiah took it down on his chest, but unable to keep a hold of it for Arsenal. Here's wan into Casemiro. wan again now. Again, this passage of play being played out inside the Manchester United half. Once again, you can probably guess where it is. It's back with the United goalkeeper. Gives the ball out to Lindelof. They're really going to have to try and find a way of injecting some more pace into the attack, Manchester United. Just looking at a touch map, and you would not believe the amount of action that has been played out in the Manchester United half. Very few touches in the Arsenal half. And United, have they been caught playing out from the back here, they get away with it. Now it's Eriksen who wins the ball in a central area of the field for Manchester United. He gets a good ball out to Rashford. Rashford carries it inside the penalty area for Manchester United. Rashford, can he get a shot away? He can! And it's in the back of the net against the run of play. Manchester United take the lead. It's Marcus Rashford that has scored for United. Unbelievable stuff here. It is Marcus Rashford that has scored. It's his sixth goal in 17 against Arsenal. Of course he got two goals and an assist in that 3-1 win, or that 3-2 win at Old Trafford last season and he is on the score sheet again against the Gunners. Of course this is the game where Rashford announced himself to the world with that brace back in the 15-16 season and he's making a big statement again here. It's Ericsson with a wonderful threaded through ball, Rashford runs onto it. He skips around white, he opens up a yard of space and it clips the post on the way through, just caresses the woodwork. It is a beautiful goal from Marcus Rashford, 27 minutes on the clock and totally against the run of play. It is the Red Devils that lead at the Emirates. Ramsdale, he got fingertips on it, 
diverted onto the post but no luck at all there for Ramsdale he was at full stretch it's not like it's a weak hand or anything like that he has done his very best to keep that one out Ramsdale fingertips it onto the post but the bounce of the ball off the post doesn't go Arsenal's way it goes United's way they can hardly believe their luck they've been totally on the back foot in the opening half hour but they find themselves ahead Arsenal nil, Manchester United won Arsenal looking to respond now that's a nice little flick from Martinelli here's in Ke yeah. Martinelli gets it inside the area where he rolls it's oh the goal 1-1 one, one. what a response from Arsenal just seconds after conceding they go down the other end and they level things up and Odegaard he's wasting no time with the celebrations he's ushering his teammates back into the half he wants to go for another just 28 minutes on the clock but it's 1-1 and the Arsenal fans absolutely loving that goal it's a brilliant team move from the Arsenal and we are level and we are set up for one heck of a game here now Onana asking for Cam from his Manchester United defence it all started with that cheeky little flick from Martinelli. He gets it back then from Eddie and Ketia. Martinelli, great vision, great awareness to pick out Odegaard. And Odegaard, first time, buries it into the bottom corner. Onana with no chance. It's a great finish from Odegaard. And it has brought Arsenal level. Ericsson trying his best to block it down, but it was far too accurate from Odegaard. He gets his second goal of the season, adds to his goal against Crystal Palace. 15 goals and 8 assists in the Premier League last season. He's already got two this term. He got an assist in that thrilling 3-2 win at the Emirates last season. That was the set-up for Eddie Nketiah's late winner. But Odegaard doing the score on himself on this occasion. It's Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1. Do not go anywhere. This game is really cranking into action now and here's Odegaard again now for Arsenal Odegaard plays it to Saka gathers it inside the penalty area plays a cross into the middle it's headed away by Wamba Saka Declan Rice picks up the loose ball here's Gabriel Gabriel forced back to Ramsdale impetus of that attack just slowed down by Manchester United Arsenal will build again now Gabriel he finds Zinchenko Martinelli now with Declan Rice Rice with a well weighted pass out to Saka Saka's got two United players to try and beat so he lays it off to Ben White instead Ben White goes inside to Saliba Saliba again to White two centre halves linking up here in the Manchester United half Odegaard tried to play one around the corner there for Martinelli good idea but it's well intercepted by the Manchester United defence again now with Onana to Casemiro Lindelof now it's Casemiro Samira plays it into the Arsenal half up towards Anthony Anthony on the turn trying to get away from Gabriel Gabriel sticking to his task well though forces his fellow Brazilian to lay the ball back into the United half where Eriksen gets it he gives it back to Anthony though tells him to have another goal but it's back again now with Christian Eriksen Casemiro Lindelof Eriksen allowed to pick his head up you don't want to do that Ericsson takes the opportunity to spray a wonderful ball out to the United goal scorer. Here's Rashford. Rashford, ball inside to Dallow. Dallow into the penalty area. Fernandez takes control. He lays it off to Ericsson. Ericsson's shot is blocked down. It's going to be a corner to Manchester United. That's probably one of their best passages of play, bar the goal itself. Sustained possession in the Arsenal half. Rashford with the ball into Dallow. Dallow with a lovely cutback. I think he was looking for Wamba Saka, and Fernandez actually took it away from Wamba Saka but Fernandez very quickly laid it into the path of Eriksen and Eriksen his goal bound shot I think that was going in if it wasn't blocked down it goes behind though for a Manchester United corner a 
Ramsdale trying to organise his defenders here. It's going to be taken by the United skipper, Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes, that's a nice ball in, it almost reached Martial. It run through to Marcus Rashford, who's going to keep this ball alive, but Rashford has given the ball away to Saka. Here's Eddie Nketi, Arsenal have players flooding forward, now Nketi has passed us straight into Anthony, and it's headed away by Martinez, who's been caught late by Kai Havertz, and that will allow Manchester United to relieve the pressure that was building on that Arsenal counter-attack. couple of nearly moments for Saka. Not sure his moment will come yet. As you probably restart the game with a short free kick to Casemiro. Here's Martinez. This goes back again to Casemiro, who's dropped into a central defensive position for the moment. Again, the Brazilian, it's Argentinian Martinez. This is better for Manchester United with that ball out towards Martial. Has too much power on it and runs out for an Arsenal throw in. Manchester United trying to inject some energy into the attack there, something they haven't done on enough occasion in this first half. Perhaps that goal from Rashford, although it's been since cancelled out by Odegaard, that break forward has given United the belief that they can find a way through this Arsenal. Team. Ben White, good old fashioned long throw down the line towards Eddie Nketi. A great hold up there from Nketi, and he's supported now by Saka. Oh, no. Eventually breaks all the way back to Onana. And now to carry the ball outside of his penalty area here now. Kettia with half of a press. The ball is eventually laid off to Lindelof. Lindelof to Anthony. Anthony could have turned, but he instead lays it off to Bruno Fernandes. He gets it back again, Anthony. But he's very slow to realise how much time he has to turn and try and face this Arsenal team. Seems to be playing in reverse at the moment, Anthony. One man who doesn't ever play in reverse is Rashford. He plays the ball forward now for Manchester United, where it's gathered by Martial. Martial crowded out though by Gabriel and uh, I think it was Odegaard, the other player there, that applied that pressure. It will be a throw into Manchester United. Dano comes up to take this one. Dano looking for some movement. Again, he has to go back with the throw and it's all the way back to the halfway line where Lindelof receives. Here's Martinez. Ericsson. Receiving the ball wide now for Manchester United, but very quickly gives it back to Martinez. Manchester United in no hurry here. I know it is Sunday, but they're playing like this is a Sunday stroll in the park at times, Manchester United. Real pedestrian build-up play at times. Ericsson. Okay, comes to a almost standstill as he lays the ball off to Lindelof who again is stationary for Manchester United here is Martinez, Arsenal just sitting in a comfortable shell at the moment they'll happily allow Manchester United to play the ball around in these areas and it's all the way back again with Onana very negative build up play for Manchester United it has to be said Playing it back, they've invited Arsenal up the pitch with a press, but Onana very cool with the ball at his feet. As we know, he just ships the ball over the head of the oncoming Arsenal player. Samira with a good ball forward to Anthony. Zinchenko tracking back here for Arsenal. Anthony, he's got support outside. He goes inside to Martial, well read by Saliba, good defending there. And Saliba, he just clears his lines, takes no chances, knocks it away for a throw in, which is quickly taken by Manchester United. Anthony, he's managed to find his way through a little gap into the penalty area, but he loses his footing as he took on the shot. Did the first part really well. Anthony just dropped the shoulder and found a little pocket. And that's a foul on Eddie and Ketty, and that's surely going to be a booking. 
it looked like the ball was going to run out of play over on the far side uh, but Victor Lindelof he was caught napping in came Eddie Inketia. he closed down the Manchester United centre half and Inketia was threatening to break away in on goal yeah you can see Lindelof the ball has hit the chalk out on the line Lindelof has almost come to a standstill thinking the ball is out of play he's very quickly realised the ball was still alive Eddie Inketia heads it forward and then he's absolutely cleaned out by the Swedish centre back who goes into the referee's notebook his first booking of the season Lindelof has very much been back up to Varane and Martinez so far this season but with Varane out through injury today Lindelof gets his chance but he almost cost his team there should always play to the whistle and he didn't do that Lindelof he thought the ball was out it was very much still in and now as a result Arsenal have a free kick Rice and Havertz and Nketi and Gabriel all forward here for Arsenal but that's a poor ball into the Manchester United area it's easily defended by Bruno Fernandes Fernandes drives the ball forward for United now two Arsenal players almost collide going for the one ball a bit of miscommunication presents the ball to Anthony he's got options inside one of them is Martial the ball does break away now of Marcus Rashford though Rashford takes the shot on and he should have held it up he had Dallow making a great run from deep on the outside Rashford though didn't see him I'm not sure if Dallow maybe didn't give a call in time Rashford took on a shot from an unlikely position and it has gone over the bar it was never threatening but if he had just waited another split second there Rashford he had the support of Dallow coming Arsenal taking a goal kick out of the Manchester United playbook it was one of the centre halves that took that goal kick laid it off to Ramsdale Ramsdale gives it back to Saliba now Saliba down the line to Ben White Arsenal much quicker to get the ball up the field in this first half than Manchester United Saka he is fouled Bruno Fernandes despite committing that foul is the man on the floor though can be theatrical at times Bruno Fernandes but oh, what's this Saka has been booked it's Saka it looked like the referee had indicated a free kick to Arsenal on that occasion but it's Saka that has been shown a yellow card and that's a really good spot there from the referee Saka has actually taken a loose touch and as he gathers after the loose ball he catches Bruno Fernandes it's quite a nasty one actually it was totally unintended from Saka but uh, there's certainly nothing theatrical about that from Bruno Fernandes. That is going to be a sore one right on the ankle bone. And Saka can probably have no complaints. He didn't mean to do that, but he did catch Bruno Fernandes and caught him with a bit of force as well. So it is going to be a free kick to Manchester United and a yellow card for Saka. He joins Victor Lindelof in the book, looking a piece in this first half. Christian Eriksen Martinez back to Onana goes down by Odegaard but he gets the ball forward in time to Lindelof here's wan now loose touch from wan Anthony now starting to grow into the game he breaks forward with the ball for Manchester United nice close control there from Anthony pulls off the advances of Zinchenko Fernandez, trying an ambitious ball on the outside of the foot. He was looking for the run of Juan Bissaka, but it runs through to Ramsdale. He very quickly distributes the ball to Declan Rice as we head into the last five minutes of this first half here, live on Flash Score. Hopefully, you're enjoying the action so far. Ben White, Saka, taking up a central position this time for Arsenal. Gets the ball out to White. Gabriel now to Zinchenko is popping up all over the park for Arsenal in this first half Martinelli now up against wan -Bissaka. Martinelli checks back he lays it off to Zinchenko first time
in this first half just as strongly as they started it. On the corresponding fixture last season for Arsenal, can they find a late goal in this first half though? There'll probably be quite a bit of added on time as well. Ball played into the penalty area, almost found the head of Ben White, but Manchester United managed to get the ball away. They're on the counter now, Christian Eriksen almost found Bruno Fernandes. If you're enjoying the action so far. Ben White, Saka, taking up a central position this time for Arsenal. Gets the ball out to White. Of the penalty area, it's going to be a free kick to Manchester United, just to be clear, it's a foul on Anthony play back for a foul on the edge of the penalty area. It's going to be a free kick to Manchester United, just to be clear, and correctly brought it back. That's good refereeing from Anthony Taylor. Everyone's quick. Lindelof, who has been booked in this first half for Manchester United, he's in possession now. Out to Wamba Saka. Wamba Saka trying to play it. He correctly brought it back. That's good refereeing from Anthony Taylor. Everyone's quick. Arsenal penalty area, I don't think it's going to be given. Fernandez hits the deck quite softly, he's dispossessed by Martinelli. Zinchenko clears his lines for Arsenal. Hopefully enjoying the action so far. Ben White. Saka. No penalty forthcoming for Manchester United. There was no handball there inside the Arsenal penalty area. They are quick with the decision there, which is good to see. And again, forced to play backwards into his own half. He gets it back now from Lindelof. Just dropped off Eriksen. Didn't want to give him too much time on the ball because we know what Eriksen can do when he picks his head up and he has options in front. But we know what Eriksen can do when he picks his head up and he has options in front. But again, Arsenal do really well to push United back into their own half. Three additional minutes at the end of this first half. Manchester United with 67 of the present. Uh, 67. in the United half as much over the last few minutes. In the United half as much over the last few minutes. Back again now with Onana. This time he goes more direct. Ball up towards Marcus Rashford. Rashford though is beaten in the air by Saliba. Declan Rice receives off his centre half. Now a ball up towards Inkeria. He finds Saka out on the wing for Arsenal. Half. He gets it back now from Lindelof. Just dropped off Eriksen want to give him too much time on the ball because we know what Eriksen can do when he picks his head up and he has options in front but as far as half for Arsenal Martinelli here's Zinchenko, here's Rice now back with Martinelli once more Martinelli goes on the outside of Wambasaka. Wambasaka does well to close him down and block it away for a corner again to Arsenal, yet another corner in this first half for the home side
Martinelli gets ready to take. Plenty of Arsenal players inside the penalty area for this one. As Martinelli plays it inside it, has fallen at the back post to Inketi. It wouldn't just settle for him. It's rolled to Saka. Saka shot plenty of power on it. It's blocked away for another Arsenal corner. Half. Gets it back now from Lindelof. Eddie and Kelly gets the second half underway. Immediately back to Ramsdale who launches a long ball forward. Havertz up for the header. Headed back forward again by Declan Rice. Ben White with a bit of a wayward ball forward. Martial gets to that from Manchester United. Taken down nicely by Ericsson but it's robbed off his toe by Saka. Declan Rice picking up the scraps in midfield now. This is Zinchenko. He really did pop up all over the pitch in that first half. He's just dropped into you know, the quarterback position here now for Arsenal. Manchester United completed more passes in their own half in that game, in that first half, than any other game so far this season. Just shy of just one pass shy of 200 passes inside their own half. Have to spend a bit more time in the Arsenal territory in the second 45 minutes and here are United now in possession in the Arsenal half as a loose ball is gathered by Casemiro but United unable to hold on to it for too long it's now Arsenal in the opposition half this ball goes out wide to Saka Saka with a nicely weighted pass outside but the cross into the penalty area is gathered by Onana he did far more work with his feet than his hands in that first half but he's had to come out and gather that cross here at the start of the second 45 Dano did well in that first half up against Saka he kept Saka quite fairly quiet Saka will be hoping to get the better of the Portuguese man now in this second half speaking of Portuguese players here's Fernandes now for Manchester United Eriksen Anthony this little triangle there from United. Back with Fernandez. But again, they're playing inside their own half once more. This is Martinez all the way back to Onana. Finds Ericsson out to Lindelof. Lindelof into Fernandez. First time ball out to Wambasaka. Anthony tried a little flick around the corner, didn't pay off. Gathered by Declan Rice. This is Ramsdale now. To Saliba. Your fans' favourite here at the Emirates. Emerson's returning on loan from Marseille in the summer of last year. He's been a real fans' favourite. Patient, of course. He signed for Arsenal in 2019 from St Etienne. That loan spell back in France at Marseille seemed to do him the world of good crucial part of this Arsenal team now here he is once again now ball out to Ben White Saliba once more and Gabriel once again it's Saliba Havertz making a run forward and that's created some space out wide for Martinelli, Martinelli then tried to play it inside to Kai Havertz but the offside flag had gone up, Martinelli caught offside there in a wide area that always frustrates managers checking across the line that's exactly what Mikel Arteta is saying to Martinelli there, how have you been caught offside in that position Anthony dispossessed on the halfway line. Odegaard breaking four for Arsenal. Looking for support now is Odegaard. Plays a brilliant ball into the penalty area for Martinelli. It's blocked down by Anthony. It's going to be a goal kick. Last touch must have come off. Martinelli. It's a great ball forward from Odegaard. Good tracking back from Anthony. And it looks like the officials got that one right. Came off the shins of Martinelli just before it went out over the end line. And that has gone forward. Nodded down by Rice, gathered by Odegaard. There's Saka now. Odegaard 
makes a run outside. Saka holds onto the ball for Arsenal, gives it to Declan Rice. Saliba splits a couple of United players, but he was almost dispossessed in a really dangerous area. But luckily for him, it broke back the way of Arsenal. This is Zinchenko now. Zinchenko trying to find Havertz, misplaced pass from the Ukrainian. Both teams struggling to hold on to it here at the start of the second half. It's Fernandez now that's shoved over, but fairly, as Arsenal come away with the ball through Eddie and Ketia. Ketia does well to find Zinchenko. Quick ball forward to Odegaard. He's got lots of support here, Odegaard, but he's going to take the shot on himself. Probably the wrong option. Locked down by Martinez. Throw into Arsenal. Ben White just shielding his eyes from the sun as he gets ready to take this throw in. The sun is just starting to set over on that far side, making it difficult for Ben White to make a decision here. But he's done well to find Odegaard. Odegaard gets it back to the throw in taker who fizzes across into the area, and Wamba Saka was alert at the back post. Uh, his header will run out for a throw in to Arsenal. Which is going to be taken by Zinchenko. Zinchenko to. Martinelli, Zinchenko again now. Plays the ball into the centre of the park where it's gathered by Saliba. Odegaard trying to play one inside but it's blocked down. Fernandez gathers for United. Good first time ball forward up towards Christian Eriksen. And Eriksen losing his foot and the Arsenal fans will love to see that. The ex Spurs man slipping over and allowing the ball to run out of play for an Arsenal throw in just as Manchester United were looking like they might build a threatening counter attack. and scored of course the first goal in that comeback for United against Forest last weekend United the comeback and what was his first start of the season left and right now for Arsenal and towards White Saliba to Gabriel this is Zinchenko he's playing very central in the second half he seems to be playing in a holding position in that midfield for Arsenal a little bit wider in the first half Zinchenko looking for a ball forward to Havertz it breaks the way of Martinelli Martinelli's got two United defenders for company and he is eventually muscled out of it a strong tackle by Wambasaka. so good at those last ditch tackles Wambasaka. Zinchenko takes the throw in he can stay in play for too long it's going to be another one here the team in red. And in there. Black and white strip this afternoon. It takes quite a bit of getting used to it, I tell you. Zinchenko. This is a good throw in routine from Arsenal. Havertz finds in Kenya his shot inside the area blocked away. Saliba scampers after the loose ball. Gets it out wide to Ben White. Any movement in front of White. Saliba again now lost his foot as he tried to play a ball forward. And as a result, it runs out harmlessly for a goal kick in the end. Okay, Manchester United using one of the centre halves to take the goal kick, and then Onana receives and gives it to Martinez, who's Got his skates on, he's up towards the halfway line, gives it to Ericsson. Ericsson into Rashford, but Fernandez now. Fernandez around the corner here for Martial. Martial with the shot, good save from Ramsdale, has followed up with the rebound, and it's out for a corner. It was Rashford looking for a second goal of the game. Martial with the initial shot, parried away by Ramsdale. And Rashford, his rebound, it looked like it was head and goal bound, but it's blocked away for a corner, which is quickly taken. Here's Dallow. Dallow with a shot off the left, blocked away. A couple of quick shots in succession from Manchester United. More intent about them now in this second half. Wambasaka gathers it on the halfway line. Wambasaka continues forward for Manchester United, outside to Anthony. Arsenal have stepped off Anthony. That allows him to play inside to Fernandez. Inside to Casemiro. Casemiro dispossessed though by Eddie Nketiah. 
Ketty. Nice turn of pace. Has he run out of road though? I'm afraid he has. It's out for a throw in. Asmus Hoyland currently going through an extensive warm up for Manchester United. Are we about to see the big money signing introduced for the first time? Over 70 million pounds paid to Atalanta for his services. Many fans. Want to see what they've got for that money. We might see him soon, but here comes Martinelli for Arsenal. Martinelli with the ball across the penalty area. Still alive here for Arsenal as it falls at the feet of Havertz. Back to Martinelli again. Martinelli goes on the outside, plays the ball towards the back post. Dallow, though, takes it down coolly on the chest and then clears the ball away for a throw-in. Ben White has got another ball in his hands quite quickly. Declan Rice has dropped short, but it's down the line to Odegaard instead. Ben White gets it back now from Odegaard. Odegaard has it again. Here's Saka on the edge of the area. Saka very quickly closed down by Martinez, who applies the pressure. It's with Declan Rice now. Rice trying to turn and face goal. Forced out wide to Zinchenko. Zinchenko into the corner for Martinelli. Juan Bissaka goes across. Martinelli goes around him, but it's another trademark last-ditch tackle from Juan Bissaka. He's met his name with challenges like that. He has knocked it behind for a corner. Corner to Arsenal. They're on top on the corner count. But they want to be on top on the scoreboard. As we head towards the hour mark. Still 1-1 here. At the Emirates. Both of the goals coming in the first half. Martinelli plays a short one. Into Eddie and Ketty, who's managed to turn inside the penalty area. But he's forced back the other way quickly by United. Saliba, Saliba, nice footwork, turns down the chance to shoot, it's out towards Martinelli, that's good play from Bruno Fernandes who just stretched out, got a toe on it, knocked it away for a throw in, good work from the United skipper, that throw in taken now, this is Martinelli, loses his footing but the referee judges that's a foul on Martinelli by Bruno Fernandes, it's going to be a free kick to Arsenal, almost up against the corner flag. to say that looks a harsh one there on Bruno Fernandes it will be a free kick to Arsenal and Martinelli is going to take this one Havertz, Rice and Ketty and Gabriel all in there for Arsenal, they're all right on the edge of the six-yard box. So you imagine Martinelli's probably going to flash this right across the goal mouth for the Gunners. It's a low ball in. It wasn't a great ball from Martinelli by any stretch of the imagination. It's easily defended by Manchester United. Ramsdale comes out to the halfway line to restart the Arsenal attack. It's with Ben White now down the right-hand side. Saliba, Declan Rice injecting some pace into the play for Arsenal here's Kai Havertz Havertz into the penalty area he goes down under contact referee points at the penalty spot it's going to be a spot kick for Arsenal Kai Havertz has been taken down inside the 18 yard box and he has won his team a penalty wan over in conversation with the referee good ball inside from Eddie and Kenny it's wan that's made the foul I think it was Casemiro also coming across, but there's no doubt about it that it's when wan contact that has been pulled up here by referee Anthony Taylor. Casemiro was in the proximity as well, but between the two of them, they've been unable to avoid contact there on Kai Havertz, and it is going to be a penalty to Arsenal unless VAR has something different to say about things it is being checked by VAR at the moment Mambasaka does his best to pull out of this challenge Kai Havertz may be already heading to ground you know this one might be reviewed Casemiro definitely doesn't make any contact it's whether Wambasaka, whether his contact is enough to send Kai Havertz to the floor here 
there's definitely no offside in the build up so the only decision for the officials to make will be whether there's contact there for Wambasaka on Kai Havertz the referee is going to the monitor usually that means a decision is going to be overturned Mikel Arteta he can't believe this Anthony Taylor over in the VAR area now he is having a look at this if there was contact from Wambasaka, it was minimal will the referee overturn his original decision which was to award Arsenal a penalty taking another look at it here now Wambasaka comes across there's very little contact if any referee Anthony Taylor he's seen enough he's back out onto the pitch and it will not be a penalty to Arsenal Anthony Taylor reverses his original decision there will be no penalty to Arsenal so the game will restart with a drop ball and I praised Anthony Taylor in the first half for his performance and I'd have to say I think he's got this one right as well I know he's given the original penalty but to the naked eye in live time it did look like a penalty but having reviewed it on the VAR screen Anthony Taylor has reversed his decision no penalty for Arsenal Manchester United look to use that reprieve now with a quick ball forward but it's gathered at the edge of the area by Ramsdale who quickly gives the ball to Ben White Arsenal looking to try and build further pressure now up towards Odegaard slightly loose touch that allows Martinez in with a strong tackle Odegaard gets the ball quickly so he will leave it down for Ben White to take the throw Yeah, that's VAR at its best. It was reached the decision quite quickly. There's logic behind the decision as well. So that was VAR at its best. I'm asking wish there was no VAR. I've been helped with this. They thought they had the chance of a penalty. My feelings about to come on very shortly for Manchester United. He's getting his first set of instructions from Eric Ten Hag and his coaching staff. checks it inside onto his left foot Odegaard wonderful dribbling can he get a shot away he still has it here Odegaard no purchase in the shot easily gathered by on Mana goes inside to Fernandez Martial again Dallo Rashford right up against the touchline as he receives he goes back to Christian Eriksen Again, it almost comes to a stop as he receives possession for United. Lindelof. Casemiro. Patient approach once again here from the away side of the Empress. Martinez now with a ball over the top towards Juan Basaka. Arsenal trying to exploit the fact that Juan Basaka is out of position. Martinelli's kept this in play. Juan Basaka nowhere to be seen as Martinelli breaks into the penalty area. Not traffic, traffic in front of him. He tries to play a ball out towards Saka, but it's well defended at the back post by Dalo Saka. Keeps it in play for Arsenal. Hamilton and Kelly are inside. Rice joins the attack as well. Here's Odegaard on the ball. Odegaard to White. Odegaard again. Declan Rice. And you come again then behind the ball. Zinchenko plays the square to Declan Rice ball into Odegaard but he's hassled and harried by Christian Eriksen and United come away with possession as a result here's Martial probably the most likely man to be replaced you think in the next couple of moments Rashford gets it off Martial Rashford driving in on goal looks for, for, uh, for Fernandez but it's intercepted Odegaard beats Dallow to the ball. Eddie and Kelly is absolutely wiped out on the halfway line. Referee plays a good advantage. Odegaard gathers the loose ball for Arsenal. 
And Kenny quickly to his feet, joining the attack. Odegaard continues in possession. Now we find Havertz. This is Zinchenko. Zinchenko plays a cross in. It's headed away by Fernandez. It's going to be a corner to Arsenal. And excellent refereeing again from Anthony Taylor, who goes back. And he books the Manchester United player for that late tackle on Eddie and Kenny. And that was the Argentinian Lissandro Martinez that goes into the book. Nine times in all competitions last season. He goes into Anthony Taylor's notebook. Marcello on the new campaign Martinez. He's just down for a moment. I think he can harm himself in that collision with the Kenny. Harry Maguire currently warming up for Manchester United. Who would have thought that? Uh, it looks like Martinez is in real trouble here because Maguire is getting stripped and ready to come on. What a story this would be. Harry Maguire, we thought he had played his last game for Manchester United. His last game for Manchester United, but he has remained beyond the close of the transfer window and he's getting set to come on here for Eric Ten Hag's side. So Martinez has obviously picked up an injury in that challenge with Eddie and Kenny. Yeah. Maguire has to feature it all this season. Of course, he was heavily linked with that move to West Ham. That fell through. He is in the latest England squad and he's about to be back in the Manchester United 11 here. Meanwhile, this is the moment United fans have been waiting for. Their new man about to be introduced. This is Rasmus. He's coming on. Rasmus Hoyland for Anthony Martial. No surprises there. This was another good opportunity for Martial today to do prove his worth as a centre forward and he hasn't taken it. He started through the middle against Forrest. He failed to capitalise on that opportunity and he probably hasn't had enough for this opportunity the Emirates today either. So it's over to Rasmus Hoyland now for Manchester United. Harry Maguire, who would have thought we'd be seeing him today? He is on for Lissandro Martinez. Meanwhile, Arsenal getting ready to take this corner. Maguire's first job might be to head this one away. Saka to take. We are again giving Saka the option to go short if he wants to do so. A few different variations today on the corners, Arsenal. This one is yet to be taken short. Saka receives it off the Odegaard. Rolls it to Martinelli. Martinelli. Oh! Oh, it's just match wide. Good training ground move from Arsenal. Martinelli with the low curling effort. But just not enough spin on the ball to take inside that near the post. And there's very little in it. It's flat wide. It's very marginal. That was almost in the bottom corner. Just latches wide of Hunnan's goal. He's a relief man. Arsenal getting closer to that second. And it's going to be a booking here for a Manchester United player. I think it's going to be for the goalkeeper. Yeah, it is. Andre Onana has picked up a yellow card for time wasting, according to referee Anthony Taylor. Of course, they've been told to clamp down on that significantly this season, the referees. And we have seen that in the early part of the season. And uh, the Manchester United goalkeeper, he's the latest victim of those new regulations. He goes into the notebook. Yeah, it looks like he's having a jersey pulled there by Lindelof. Referee allows the play to continue. That's the ball on the halfway line up through Gabriel. Over to Declan Rice. This is Eddie and Kepi.
Bucks to City on a free transfer up to the point cover. Ryan missing out of the bedroom injury.
found its way into the back of the net. And Mikel Arteta. Nice looking up at the big screen here. He's been there, going to intervene for the third time in this second half. I think it's a big moment anyway. We think this goal is going to stand. Both the guys replaced while all of this is going on. He's replaced by Jorginho, and that goal does stand, so Arsenal lead by two goals to one, Jorginho on for the last couple of minutes here, at a time to see out what would be a huge three points for the Gunners. Ramsdale has the ball now, and he takes as long as he possibly can before he picks that one up inside his penalty area, looking to wind this clock down, and animated Mikel Arteta, telling his goalkeeper to try and find the corner if at all possible. Eric Ten Hag hands on his hips. He cannot believe it. He thought he was on his way to three points when Garnacho scored. VAR chalked that off. And then Declan Rice went down the other end and scored for Arsenal. Saka caught offside there. This will be a last chance saloon for Manchester United to launch the ball forward. The man with the big price tag has produced a big moment for Declan Rice. That free kick from Manchester United ends up going out for a throw in to the away side. How much longer will Anthony Taylor allow for into the 100th minute? But it was 8 out of done. That goal came in about the 96th minute or so. There's been a sub during that as well. Maybe another minute or two left yet. Gabriel has just looked like he was pulled back there by Johnny Evans, but the decision is that the Manchester United throw in to be taken by Dallow. Dallow winding himself up for a long throw in. 